वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे विजल स्टडी मैन लिस्ट प्रियोडिक टेबल फ्रॉम लेसन प्रियोडिक क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स पार्ट थ्री क्लास टेन और राइट नाउ लेट्स सी मैन लिस्ट प्रियोडिक टेबल स्टूडेंट द रशियन साइंटिस्ट मिट्री मैन लिव डेवलप द प्रियोडिक टेबल ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड ऑफ एटीन सिक्सटी नाइन टू एटीन सेवेंटी टू ए डी एंड मैन लिव प्रियोडिक टेबल इज अ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप इन द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट्स बिकॉज मैन लिव कंसिडर द फंडामेंटल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ एलिमेंट्स नेमली द अटोमिक मासेस ओके ना अटोमिक मास में एडिशन ऑफ अ प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स विच आर देयर इन द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द एटम ऑफ एन एटम एंड द अटोमिक मास एज अ स्टैंडर्ड एंड ही अरेंज सिक्सटी थ्री एलिमेंट्स विच वर नोन एट दैट टाइम इन एन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ दैर अटोमिक मास डेट मीन्स इन मैंडली प्रियोडिक टेबल ही अरेंज सिक्सटी थ्री एलिमेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ दैर अटोमिक मासेस एंड देन ही ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस इन टू द प्रियोडिक टेबल ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ दीज एलिमेंट्स All right. Now, uh, student, this is a Mendeleev's uh, periodic uh, table, and Mendeleev organized a periodic table on the basis of a uh, chemical and physical properties of the elements. And uh, these chemical and physical properties are like a uh, molecular formula of hydrides and oxides, and of the elements. Now, elements combined with hydrogen, it will hydrides, and elements combined with oxygen, it will form oxides. Okay. So the molecular formula of hydrides and oxide of the elements, melting point of the elements, boiling point of elements, and densities of the element and their the density of their uh, hydrides and oxides also. And uh, mainly found that uh, the elements with similar physical and property, just I have mentioned in above point, uh, the elements with similar physical and chemical properties repeat after a definite interval. All right. Now if you will see in the pre alongside periodic table, like uh, in Group seven, okay. So in group seven, like fluorine, chlorine, halogens are there. So these properties are repeating after every definite interval. All right. And uh, on the basis of these findings, mainly we stated the following periodic law. That is, periodic uh, properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic masses. That means element uh, physical and chemical properties of an elements are repeated after a definite interval. when uh, an elements uh, when elements are arranged in the increasing order of their atomic masses okay so here this is a mainly periodic table in which you can observe these are the group like in group 1 lithium sodium potassium are are arranged and uh, these uh, are uh, the vertical columns in the mainly periodic table are called as a group and while the horizontal arc rows are called as a period so there are eight groups and uh, 12 periods are arranged in the mainly periodic table all right and if you will see here these are the period and if you will see here the only the atomic masses are um, we can see only atomic masses but the elements were unknown okay at the time and uh, here the question marks is also there in some of the elements that means atomic masses are corrected but elements are uh, unknown or it is there we there is any confusion there is confusion between the atomic masses or either the elements of the periodic table okay uh, so let's understand why is there, why this there is a question mark All right. So now let's uh, study the merits of Mendeleev's periodic table. So student science is pro always progressing, and there is a freedom in science to revise old inference by us uh, using more advanced means and methods of doing experiment. Uh, so uh, we have seen, uh, we have studied uh, Mendeleev's. Uh, sorry, we have studied Newland's law of octaves and Dobereiner's triad. So these two the theories, that is uh, theories related to the classification of elements, and this Mendeleev periodic table is a revised form of the Newland's law of octaves. and dobereiner triad okay so this is a revised periodic table so uh, these characteristic of science are clearly seen in the mendeleev periodic table and while applying the law that the properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic masses uh, to all the element, uh, known elements mendeleev arranged the elements with a uh, thought that information available till then was not final but not final uh, but it could change that means uh, the modern periodic table uh, the periodic table made by the mendeleevs okay so it can it is not final it can be changed the properties of like physical properties atomic masses and uh, chemical properties can be changed okay 
and let's see the different merits of uh, Mendeleev periodic table. So first is atomic masses of some elements were revised so as to give them proper places in uh, the periodic table in accordance with their properties and for example the previously determined atomic mass of beryllium that is 14.09 was changed to the correct value in uh, 9.4 and beryllium was placed before boron so these are the some revised characteristic of the manly periodic table okay and these are the revised form of what newland's law newland's periodic table and newland's law and uh, that dobrenner's triad's law Okay, and second merit is Mendeleev kept vacant places in the periodic table for elements not discovered till then. So in previous slide also we have seen uh, there are only atomic masses have been discovered, but the vacant places are there. Okay, and uh, three of these element, uh, three of these unknown elements were given the names as Ica boron, Ica aluminium, and Ica silicon from the known neighbors, and their atomic masses were indicated as 44, 68, and 72 respectively. All right, now let's see here. This is a sorry. This is a manly periodic table, and here you can observe the atomic masses like 44, 68, and 72. And the name of elements are not discovered, but these are, are given names like Ica boron, Ica aluminium, and Ica silicon as the neighbor element. All right, and. Uh, later on these elements are these elements were discovered and named as scandium gallium and germanium respectively and the properties of these elements match well with those pre predicted by Mendeleev's periodic table all right now let's see the characteristic of uh, one element so student here a characteristic of um, gallium are compared like your actual and predicted properties of a gallium so actual means uh, uh, actual means uh, like gallium is actual and Ica aluminum Ica aluminium this is a predicted uh, predicted by the Mendeleev's Mendeleev production okay so first uh, is a property related to the atomic mass so uh, atomic mass predicted by the Mendeleev is 68 and the actual gallium mass is 69.7 okay and density of Ica aluminium was predicted by Mendeleev is 5.9 but and the actual gallium density is 5.9 for so this is somewhat similar okay and third property is Mendeleev uh, melting point and the uh, Manly prediction about melting point is low and gale actual melting point of gallium is 30.2. Okay, and formula of chloride of Ica aluminium is ECl3, but actual gallium is GaCl3. And formula of oxide is E2O3, but it is uh, gallium, it is Ga2, Ga twice O3. Okay, and nature of oxide of alo Ica aluminium is amphoteric oxide and next is it is again same it is amphoteric oxide all right now uh, third point in merits of manly periodic table is there was no place reserved for novel gases in manly original periodic table and uh, if we will observe he here there are no places for in a uh, manly periodic table for the noble gas however when noble gases such as helium neon argon were discovered towards the end of the 19th century manly created the zero group okay you can clearly observe like uh, in when before the one first group there is zero group for the noble gas like uh, neon argon krypton xenon and renon okay so the zero group without disturbing the original periodic table in which the noble gases were fitted very well so this is a zero group which uh, which is reserved for the noble gases in the manly periodic table without disturbing any other elements all right okay now student let's understand the demerits of manly periodic table okay so let's see one by one so first is the whole number atomic mass of the element cobalt is cobalt atomic mass is 58.93 and nickel atomic mass is 58.71 is the same and therefore there was a big ambiguity regarding their sequence in Mendeleev periodic table so student first of all what is Mendeleev periodic law that is properties of elements are periodic function of their atomic masses that means elements are arranged in the periodic table according to their uh, atomic masses okay but here the uh, atomic mass of cobalt and nickel these are nearly same so there is a big confusion regarding in this regarding the sequence of the cobalt and nickel in the manly periodic table okay 
and uh, second demerit is isotopes were discovered long time after manley put forth uh, the periodic table and as isotopes have the same chemical properties but different atomic masses a challenge was posed in uh, placing them in manley periodic table that means if the isotope having same uh different atomic masses okay but here the isotope that is chlorine it, it is same ato atomic number that is 17 17 written below and uh, the atomic mass that is 37 and 35 it is also nearly same and as the isotope have the same chemical property but different atomic masses it was also a big challenge was posed in placing them in manley periodic table so this is one of the demerits of manley periodic table all right Now third one is when elements are arranged in an increasing order of their atomic masses the rise in atomic mass was does not appear to be uniform and it was not possible therefore to predict how many elements could uh, be discovered between two heavy elements all right that means uh, the uh, repeating or interval the atomic mass is not actually uniform okay it is just uh, like uh, there is only little difference like for of carbon it is 12 nitrogen is 14 that means uh, it it is very it is impossible uh, to predict how many elements would uh, are discovering between two heavy elements all right now next is demerits of manley uh, manley periodic table fourth point that is position of the hydrogen okay so there is also ambiguity be about position of the hydrogen so hydrogen show similarity with uh, halogens that is group 7 also and for example the molecular formula of hydrogen is h2 while the molecular formula of fluorine and chlorine are f2 and cl2 respectively so there is also ambiguity that uh, where could hydrogen uh, should where should hydrogen be placed either with the first group or it is seventh group okay because the uh, hydride formula of uh, hydrogen is uh, molecular formula of hydrogen is also h twice and molecular formula of fluorine and chlorine or uh, that is halogen is also f twice and cl2 okay and a uh, student in the same way there is a similar uh, similarity in the chemical properties of hydrogen and alkali metals also that is group 1 and so hydrogen shows similar property with group 1 also and group 7 uh, seventh also and here you can observe the compounds uh, of hydrogen and compounds of sodium it is similar it is hcl nacl uh, h2o and uh, sodium oxide that is na2o that means uh, alkali metals and uh, hydrogen show similar properties and uh, third uh, next is there is a similarity in the molecular formula of compounds of hydrogen alkali metal that is sodium potassium etc form with chlorine and oxygen okay just we have seen and here it is given that a uh, molecular formula of hydrogen and halogen that is h2 and cl2 in compounds with metal it will hydrogen will form nah and chlorine will form nacl it means molecular formula and compound with metals are same and compounds with non metal it is also same that is ch4 methane and ccl4 that is carbon tetra chloride okay Uh, and uh, on considering the above properties it cannot be decided whether the correct position of hydrogen is in the group of alkali metals or in the group of halogens group that is group 7 so there is uh, also a big confusion about the position of hydrogen so student uh, that's it for today's video i hope you all have understood the uh, mandelbrot periodic table very well in next part we will continue in our next session thank you